What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Flippin' Soup. Today we're going to go over taking baby steps because when you look at the long, like in the beginning guys, I looked at, okay, I want to make a thousand dollars a week I, or actually in the beginning, I want to make it, if I could make a thousand dollars extra a month, I was happy, right? And then I met that and then so on and so forth and it gradually grew and grew and grew. How did it do that though? It, it was through baby steps, guys. See, a lot of you might be thinking just like I did. Um, I don't know, maybe we all don't think the same, but I think a lot of us can relate. Within the beginning, you wonder, could this happen for me? And I think a very crucial point is stop thinking about it, can it happen for you? And start asking yourself, are you willing to make it happen for you? Because if so, you can make it in this industry. If so, it's not, um, it's challenging. You're going to have to conform. If you're used to a 9-to-5 lifestyle like I was, um, you're definitely going to have to have a lot of faith. You're going to have to have faith. Right what the hat says. I, I rock that for a reason. I don't just wear that because uh, I like the little wings and stuff on it. I wear that for a reason because without faith and without a vision, without believing you can get there, you'll never get there. And what it, what it really entails is baby steps every single day. In the beginning, I could only list one item, two items. Um, and it was baby steps to get me to five. And then it was baby steps to get me to 10. And then it was baby steps to get 15 and so on and so forth. And it, the same principle can work for you. You just got to be willing to look at the future and say, what do I want in the next two years of my life? Stop looking at the future and seeing where you're going to be at next month. Stop worrying about that. You, you can't make... So much significant, you can make a lot of significant changes in a month or two, but in order for eBay to make sure that you're going to be reliable and list items daily and do their standards, it's going to take them a while to believe, believe in you. You're not going to start out with $400 days. You're not going to start out with $100 days. You start out with your first sale and then you list your next item the best you can and then you get your second sale and then you list your next few items the best you can and then you get your third. You work on one task at a time and I, my, I strongly encourage to work on being a professional lister. That is the most crucial point of reselling is listing items. Yes, sourcing is very, very crucial as well but as long as you do that every single week too you'll get good at that you'll learn sources you'll start getting your name out there i strongly encourage anybody you buy anything from um whether it's on the garage sale sites whether it's um in the thrift stores get acquainted with them people let them know what you do have a good personality um you know you can read people some people aren't so giddy and don't want to really talk they just want to make the transaction that's it then maybe that person you don't tell what you do, you just grab and go, right? But there are some people that are talking, let them know what you do. Um, and I, I don't know how many times I've had people take my number down and give me a call back stating they had 10 bags of clothes I don't want to. Today, I just picked up all my inventory that I'm going to list for the day and then some for $50. Um, I contacted them about eight different shirts I seen on Marketplace that I would have been willing to pay $40 for. Well, their son's going to the army, so they said, hey, we'll throw all his clothes in for an extra $10. Let people know what you do. Stop being concerned what other people think of you, what you do. It's a business, guys. All businesses make profit off increasing what they bought an item from. Stop. I felt guilty for that stuff in the beginning. Like, I can't charge this person $100 for something I paid $7 for. Sure, you can. Yes, you can, and you can make it, right? So... It takes, it really only takes baby steps every day and stay focused in the day you're in. Yes, make goals for the future. For, I'm not, matter of fact, if you want to get anywhere in reselling, I strongly suggest you to write down goals in the beginning. My first goal was make $1,000 in a month, right? Now, now it's up to 10K on the bay. Um, we are creeping up on it and we will get there within the next couple months. Um, the thing is, is you have to have a vision of where you're trying to get or else you're just going to be floating around on eBay and just doing the bare minimum to get a couple sales a day. Um, and there's nothing wrong with a couple sales a day. In the beginning, that's awesome, guys. And it's awesome. Matter of fact, if you want to keep your nine to five and do reselling part time, that's what I basically did, guys. And then I realized the potential of eBay. And I said, Man, if I put the time I was putting into my 9 to 5, 40 hours a week plus, if I put that time into reselling, I would dominate what I'm making times 10. 
And it, it is holding truth and it is holding value of the way I thought. So one, you got to believe in yourself Two, You got to put the work in. Number three, take baby steps, guys. Don't try to become a millionaire in a year. You, you're going to, you, you're going to fail. So I'm not telling you not to seek failure because if you're seeking failure and if you're actually getting failure, you're growing. You're actually pushing yourself to, uh, just like bodybuilding. And, um, another reason, guys, I make these videos is to motivate people. And people are like, motivation is garbage. Well, I don't believe that. Yeah, you're not going to feel motivated every day for yourself. You're not going to. But have you ever watched a football game where in halftime it is 7 to 28 and the other team is just getting dominated and then a good couch session happens. A guy goes in there and inspires everybody and they come out and they hand the game to them. They get five touchdowns back to back and they kick their ass. You know how that happened? Somebody believed in somebody else and it pushed them hard enough. Somebody believed in somebody hard enough for them to believe in themselves and they went on that field and they kicked ass. And this is why I make YouTube or uh, videos like this, guys. Is to motivate you guys because if, if you don't hear anything encouraging about reselling and you're just stuck in your own little zone um, it, it, and you just don't hear anything motivating about it, it can get discouraging. So I encourage people to uh, watch the video, subscribe if you would, like the video. Um, you don't got to listen to everything I'm saying, but I'm trying to bring you guys value that you can apply to your life and have a more a comfortable financial uh, situation. It's, it, it was very irritating for me for 25 years when I worked in the, uh, what you'll call the corporate world, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, and it was irritating to me because I said, I know I'm worth more than this. And every single one of you guys are worth more than you're getting paid at your nine to five. I don't care if you're making a million five a year at a company. If that company's worth willing to pay you that, they're making three to five off you. There's no company that's going to pay you $1.5 million and that's all they're making from you. They'd be pointless to even have you. So know your value, learn your value. Um, check the videos out. If you get discouraged, watch my video. I'm not telling you to watch my videos all day long, but if you get discouraging, cause there's going to be some discouraging moments in reselling, just watch one of the videos guys. And if it's not me, watch, uh, uh, tech and Chris from daily refinement. And there's many other, there's the pickers. There's, there's many other resellers out there that make videos and are passing along what they learned. And that is my main reason for doing this is to help motivate people and pass on what, what was gave to me. Um, maybe they didn't individually say, Hey, flip and stoop. Here you go. I'm going to teach you how to do this. But they put it on YouTube and I actually applied what they were talking about into my business and it worked. So, I mean, I'm not, I, I don't just make these videos guys it's just to waste breath and to have you guys like me. I do it because I want to see a difference in the world. I want people to be able to have the option to get out of their nine to five lifestyle and actually make a good living, like a good financial living the the sky's the limit on it as much as you can handle and put yourself through what and that's got to do with hiring people and firing people and hiring more people and starting out with one and then turning it into 10 and then turning it in. i watched one woman she's got 20 employees and she's bringing in over 20 million dollars a year on ebay guys now that it's been laid the map's been laid out it is possible to make that kind of money on eBay. Why are you not willing? The thing you got to ask yourself is, well, I can't make that kind of money. And with that attitude, you're gosh darn right you're not going to make that kind of money, guys. You have to have the attitude is, if they can do it, I can do it, right? And that's what I've stayed to, true to in my mind, is I'm like, man, if Chris from Daily Refinement can do it, yeah, he might be a little more academically inclined um, when it comes to numbers and crunching, and he's got a different style than I do. I, my delivery is different than his, and he's really humble. And, you know, they, there's different things about him, but you know what? I can reach certain people he can't reach. So don't don't think because one person's done it that you can't do it. That should give you the open door to say, if one person can do it, so why in the hell can't I? You know, you can. You're going to go through some struggles. You're going to go through some hurdles that are very irritating to you, but that is where the character is built. That is where you go from a nine to fiver to a business owner operator. That's, that's the beautiful thing about it, guys. Nobody is telling me you have to punch in the clock at seven o'clock in the morning and you leave at five and you'll take a piss break when I tell you you can, and you'll eat when I can. I don't deal with that. I eat whenever I want. I go to the bathroom whenever I want. If I got to leave and do something for my fiance or for my family or for my kids, I can do that at any time. And still get my work done. I have the freedom to be able to 
map out my day the way I want to. And when you're working a nine to five, you can't do that. You got to ask, hey, can I have next week off on Tuesday because uh, my daughter Sally has an appointment with her doctor? Um, you have to ask for that shit. I don't have to ask for that shit. I don't have to say, hey, eBay, uh, from uh, on next Tuesday, uh, from 12 to 3 o'clock p.m., I'm going to be with my daughter at a doctor's appointment. Fuck that shit, man. If you, if you really want to be able to live with freedom, and I'm not saying, when I'm talking about freedom, guys, I'm not saying that you don't gotta work, because you gotta work, that's for sure. If you want anything great in life, you gotta work for it. Um, so that's not, I'm not taking away from that you gotta work and you just get to sit on the couch all day and watch Netflix. That's not true at all. Don't believe anybody that's saying that. Unless they got 20 to 50 employees and they built it, they established it big enough to where they do get more, um, freedom throughout their day, but I don't have to, I don't have to report to anybody. But bottom line is, and I don't got to show up anywhere I don't want to show up to, right? And you can have that same thing. You can have the same thing in your life. You you get your items listed when you get your items listed during the day. Some days I do them first thing in the morning. Some days I do them in the evening. Majority of the time it's in the evening. Because during the day is my heavy sourcing time. I am a deal finder. I am a grinder. I talk people down. I don't see a price on Marketplace and they want $100 for three pairs of jeans. And you say, okay, here's $100. I talk them down. It, look, you have the gift of gab, man. And you know what? If they don't bend and it's still a good idea, whatever, take the deal, right? But you, you have to be... You have to be persistent for one. You can't just make one advertisement on Facebook that you're a reseller and you buy used clothes and then think it's going to erupt and everybody's going to be contacting you. You do that three, four, five, six, seven days a week if you want. Um, you, you just got to be persistent. You can't look on Marketplace once and not find anything and say, oh, there's not going to. People are listing things on the Marketplace every single minute of the day. Every minute of the day. And I found lately that the marketplace has been the best sourcing for us. We get the most quantity and best quality clothes from the marketplace. People are starting to realize people will buy clothes and they're not only just dropping them off to Goodwill, you know, it, which is, it's got to be hurting. Goodwills ain't hurting, but um, that's got to be a fear to them is that there's going to be more resellers out here in the world, which there is every single month because of videos like this and videos other people make uh, that are realizing that, hey, you can do this shit right from your own home and make way more money than you're making at your nine to five. And that's not a boast about the amount of money we're making. That's not about what it is. It's, it's valid proof of where you can get to in under a year. It's valid proof. Guys, I'm not, I, don't, I don't got nothing special in my DNA other than when I believe in something, I go for it. Right. I don't have that. That's that's my specialty right there. When I believe in it strong enough, there ain't nothing going to get in my way and tell me I can't. I will make it happen. I've got apartments with not a dollar in my pocket. I've got into actually two apartments for me and my fiance when we were out on our ass. Guys, we've been homeless. We've been uh, we've had a house condemned. We lived in and the landlord gave us no warning. They just says you got to get out in three hours. Um, we lost every single article of clothing we've ever worked for. Uh, we were on our ass. Thank God we had a good friend that brought us in. And within a week, I called around and I worked with people, said, I'll repaint the whole apartment complex. I'll repaint everything. I'll do any type of service work you need around there. And I was able to get us into an apartment. So if you want something bad enough and you believe in yourself enough, you can get anything you want in the world. You guys, if you resell for five years, there's nothing you'll want for. You can have everything. You can have everything. People are like, yeah, right, yeah, right. I'm telling you, look at the people that's been doing it for five to seven years. Look at Tekken Sports and Chris. I mean, I know I refer to them guys a lot. There ain't nothing that they don't, that they want for it. They got everything they want. And, and probably some more that they don't even need. They just bought it because it was like the next technology that, you know what I mean? Yeah. So if you really want it, and I'm telling you when you're working a nine to five, yeah, there, there are people that make good money at their nine to five. And I'm not discouraging anybody from your nine to five. If you like your nine to five, Stay at it, love it, but you could do this as a side hustle and even increase your income even more. You could do this. I used to do this enough when I got home from my nine to five where this covered all my bills. And then my work money was just play money. It wasn't play money because I invested it back into the business, but it could have been. I could have just did it part time, 10 hours a week, 15 hours a week of listing and it, it, still making over $1,000 a week easy. So you can do the same thing, guys. This is nothing, like I say, I don't have anything, I don't have a super high education, I pay attention to the platforms, I watched uh, plenty enough videos to 
understand the format of eBay and its platform. And, um, and I, I have been in customer service a lot of my life, so I have learned to, how to how to communicate with people, how to make them feel valued. I do that in every single one of my feedbacks. I encourage people to come back to my store, and I don't give them the option. I just I just let them know at the end of the sentence of giving them good feedback. I says we are looking forward to seeing you soon. You, those little words you don't think have any value, but it automatically clicks that person in their mind that they're going to look for our store the next time they buy an item. And it works. You know how many? I got more repeat customers right now, which is crazy because a lot of my coupons and things, I got more repeat customers than I do new. That's, that's hard to get guys. And that's what you want is repeat customers because then they're looking for the style of items that you have. As long as you're listing new items daily, you'll never run out of sales. I love you guys all. It's your boy Flippin' Silk. I hope this video helped you.